Hello and welcome to Path of Exile, Necropolis League. This is a series dedicated to a super detailed build guide walkthrough of a Cyclone of Tumult Slayer build. So uh, let's get into it. Um, we had a point to spend and we're gonna have some fun. There'll be a, um, a Path of Building link at the bottom in the description of the video. I've been putting those in there, I think every time now for at least four or five uh, episodes. And we're going to spend one point right here. We do have swords. If we find uh, if we find that we're not going to use a sword later on, and some other two-hander or some other, we can always just back out of that with refund points. We'll be in, we'll we'll have plenty. So we're going to do that to increase our crit chance. What is our crit chance up to right now? Seventeen percent, and we'll increase it. It doesn't go up by twenty-five percent of that though, but a chunk. And we're going to take another one. And another one. And then we'll probably grab this, uh, the meters, the 0.3 meters. What do we have over here? Ooh, we can back out of that. I didn't, I didn't do that in the last episode. We're going to get to refund a point right now. Uh, let's refund that. Apply. Good. Thank. <laughs> cool. And we could take the three meters. I don't think we will. I think we're going to go with that for right now and then we'll be one uh level away or a skill point away from this really really nice one so then we get 19.8 or 0.18 and 20 percent and not only that uh we took this one over here so that the uh crit rate on uh the 150 percent increased crit rate uh, on enemies that are on full life. So it just helps. It doesn't help versus the boss because that's kind of a useless point after the first hit on a boss. But um, on, you know, when you're you're mapping or just running through things, it's really fun to do. So let's get into this and uh, let's take a look where we're at. Act, Act 7, just the beginning of it. We're, we're going to go out here and start knocking out these quests. Everything else is in good shape. We're using Terminus S. We bought that last, leak, or last, uh, last time. We have a Cyclone of Tumult with faster attacks. Melee Fizz support. Brutality and Fortify. And you can pause uh, if you want to buy these and, and do that or just look at the um, the Path of Building link and then you can see everything about all the gear I'm using. Notice I don't even, I haven't even bothered yet to put anything up here in, the, in this setup. Uh, the really neat thing about the change this league was this, where this automation. If we use this, it can trigger all three of these. Uh, Withering Step, Steel Skin and Phase Run. I'll probably even link us another one in there. I haven't got to it yet. Um, so it does it, but then it costs a lot of mana. So then I use Life Tap to shift it over to costing a little bit of uh, health. And we have enough regen where it just doesn't matter. So if I go out here, it just doesn't matter. It's just cruising along. It's going off. Let's see, it should be using it. There it is. And it'll, it'll, we'll see it and it'll go down, but Oh, that's good. I'm just getting hit, but it, it, it's just doing itself, and it really speeds us up, too. We have an automated flask, so I'm just running around having a good time. Everything's easy. We're getting get stronger and stronger. Everything's going to be great. So let's uh, knock this out. And I think what I'm going to be doing is... Easy there, buddy. Uh, we might be just tossing all these rares, the um, armor and everything, into... Um, into a quad tab and then IDing it, selling it off in a, in a lot faster that way. So I could do it that way. Let's uh, hop back in here a second. And I'm going to show you one other thing that we did in between the episode. I was searching for, and I noticed that I found another one. This was only four chaos. It's an upgrade over this. Um, the rampage is fun and that's the counter thing that builds up stacks of damage. But this thing is pretty fun. We do a lot of bleeds. Everything, uh, what is it? Increased chance to, what is it? Attacks. So we do, we're going to do increased damage against uh, things that are bleeding and we bleed. Everything's almost instantly bleeding when we're, we're fighting in there. Um, I think it's like a, I think we're up to like a 60% or 65 or 70% chance to make things bleed. But then it explodes. So this, these gloves, the Hemophilia Serpent Scale Gauntlets, they were only four chaos. I just looked again, there's another pair exactly like this, all pre-linked. Now it's corrupted, so I can't change it, but I searched literally for red, red, blue, green, linked, and these came up and they were cheap. Four chaos, done deal. So we're going to switch these out. 
for these. And now what happens is in these big packs, and we want to we want to eventually find big packs of animal uh, monsters, and we're going to use their own health against them, exploding and chain exploding and just just blowing up the whole <laughs> all all of everything. It's just really really powerful. You would think only five percent is no big deal. It's a, it, it's a big deal. It really really is. Uh, these we can probably just sell off, and I think we made a tab, uh, a one cast tab. So we'll just throw those in there. I think I bought those for probably one tab. And this Q tab is called a quad tab. We're gonna move that up, and we'll put it right underneath our our money tab. And we're just gonna start dump, dumping these things in there. And then what I'll do is I'll use a bunch of wisdom scrolls and um, ID them, and just tournament vendor them, and get a ton of alterations, and then sell those in bulk. Or lots of chaos. That's how we've been funding this whole thing. I also wanted to take a quick look at this. Sorry, there's a lot to do in between episodes here. And we're going to search. This we found. And, oh, there's somebody who wants to do something. I'll be right back. And they just wanted uh, three maps. I sold them for six chaos each. I price them kind of high that way. Um, it's just people that want them in bulk. And, not in bulk, but they're looking for three, four, five specific maps. And I happen to be the one that's uh, had all of them and we got a nice thing, but I'm not going to take these for us. I mean, this is not part of my, uh, this is from my other gear. So, um, I wanted to look at this. I think we were looking at, we found this, we augmented that onto her and just happened to roll that way. I'm not re-rolling it. And this was worth a chunk here. This is a day. This is three hours ago. We'll sell ours for 12 chaos. Let's try to sell that. And we'll actually take that if we get it. Um, what was I doing? I was selling them down, not in fossils. Right here. So we'll say, we'll say even 11 chaos. Pretty cheap, not a bad item. And people use the adorned jewel with that. So let's go do this. Oh, back to here. And away we go. Sorry for all the uh, upkeep in between there, but I wanted to explain what, what we're all up to. So that's what I'm up to. All right, and we're off. Oh, there's no way to augment that one interesting so uh from here we're just going to look at the map we're going to work our way through and if we follow the path we should be able to find stuff and now i can just this is what I, this is really 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 easy stuff now and it's a word it's going to get continually stronger it's going to be nice uh hey they want that i'll be right back and we found the locket we needed to get that cool and we'll keep going okay and we'll blast this open into here over here, why not? And then we'll get this big red chest and all that. And I don't want to spend very much time at all reading everything and optimizing it. It's just a quick blast through, ideally. And we'll go with these. We'll even open up these chests. That chest. Oh, I'll try to open the chest. That one and that one and that. And oh, we'll take these guys out. Nice. Easy stuff. But we're trying to get some of these coins. Hopefully, maybe even get some, uh, there's a, some, like, these things. These scrap metal, they might actually sell for something. And what do we get here? Uh, why is this one expensive? Let's see. It's only one chaos. And it kind of got lit up. Interesting. Uh, we'll put it up for two chaos. Maybe they're trying to undercut it there. And then the scrap metal. Let's see what that sells for. One for one. So that's like two chaos, maybe. Or maybe three. I don't know. As we continue through this, we're going to be running into new and uh, more and more of this new content. And Alva and the Incursion is um, um, is part of the Alva. She's new content. So let's see if we can actually explain this. It, it's probably be better to look up um, uh, a full video on this, but I'll give you the basic overview. You get um, we already did three incursions into this temple. And you get a total of uh, 12. 12 chances to open up doors. And you start here and you work your way to the apex. So this room is right here. And this is an indicate. This is like an inset of that room. And if you notice, there's a door. And it's already been opened to this room. There's a door. It's been opened to this room. And then this room is not connected. And see this one right here? And it's highlighted, not connected. So if I get it, I'm going to jump in here and they're going to give us some passageway keys. And then I, I have to look at this and I say, well, I would like it to at least maybe open this room first. The priority is top left and then left. So I say, okay, that's my priority on the keys to open up these rooms when I get in here. And there's a timer in here as well. 
And then on top of that, I want to look at and, and see if I want to upgrade anything. Are there any upgrades? I don't want to change it. Change to a pools of restoration or change to a workshop. Um, I think I'll just maybe that one. It doesn't really matter for me. There's complete strategies. There's huge money to be made in these, but you have to take your time and really learn the system. So for me, I just like having it open. We'll run up to the top, get the cool loot. But for right now, I want to go top left and I want to get this guy. So, and you only get to get one of them. We have three, three chances in this map to go in there and do things in here. So let's go over here. I'll sprint over to this guy. That's the upgrade guy in this case. And we'll take him out. And the more you kill in here, the higher the timer goes up. And we, and you're guaranteed to drop at least one stone of passage. Now we got to work our way over to the top left. We have 14 seconds. The doors automatically open in here, which is really nice. And this was the door I wanted. Now everything's a bonus from here on out. If I get another key, I know it's the top, the left side. I don't think I've ever got three keys, but I've got two quite often. And then you see the, the monster meter there on the bottom. There's not very many monsters left. And a good rule of thumb is if you can actually clear this, and we did with time left to spare, you're you're doing well. You're ahead of the game. Um, if you get in there and you can't, you can only kill like half of them, then you need work. There's work to be done. <laughs> uh, but this build really does well in there. It's easy. Cool. And we'll pick up all this stuff and just throw it in the quad tab. And I did. So there's two more of these guys in this map somewhere and we'll go find them. Oh, it would actually help if I rebuffed too. <laughs> I didn't put any buffs back on. There we go. Now we're even stronger. I wasn't even messing around. That's just, that's how easy this build is right now. Later, that would be a, worst mistake but right now it's just we're that overpowered here's elva again and there's one more of her but let's see if we can clear these guys out so we can actually Ooh, we got a point to spend nice we get some good oh, God. look at all these guys around here this is just terrible oh there's the other elva Ooh, frogs that's an important one but it's important later whoa look at that almost you know that's how they can hit pretty hard we should be probably up in our health a little more We'll see. Oh boy. And let's do the incursion next. And we'll turn this in right beforehand, the locket. And we'll take, we did we did the diamond one. Um, we might do diamond and then craft it ourselves. What item level is that? It's 54, probably not worth it. We'll just take the diamond one. That's a very popular one. And we'll look at it, but I want to automate one. Duration and spell each now. That's not good, but um, maybe I'll just sell it for the the base value of it And we'll keep going. Let's go do that or incursion Oh right over here And we'll spend this point first and We're in good shape there. Just taking a quick look. This is the one What does that do? Oh the multiplier goes up. That's nice increased crit chance with swords increased accuracy nice But I think our oh our accuracy I think was a little off 98%. We'll apply it, and this is going to be a nice boost for our dam. Oh, let's do this first. Move a little bit, and let's see what it does here. Oh, oh. who's hitting us? Really? This is just terrible. I hate it when they come from way off screen and wander over. All right, here we go. Let's just uh, see how much it goes up. Looks like 12, 5, 7, 8, and if we take that and granted it's not the full thing now we're up to 13 290 and even more when we uh spin and get the six ranks going so now we're at a different room before we are here and we opened up that and now technically all these rooms are accessible we start here we go there there and there then we can come over here up there and down there but this room isn't so top left is our priority and then there are any upgrades i want to upgrade that so it's this guy we're going to kill the guy in the top uh, on the right hand side and then we're going to go top left and that's how you figure out what you want to do generally there's even more in-depth uh strategies and everything to this but for now we're just going to go over here kill these guys come up here and just crush these guys down crush these guys and it's top left for the door that's what I'm remembering as far as my priority goes. There we go. Pick up the key. Come over here. 
And it's top left. There we go. And then if we get another key and there happens to be another door that's open, or needs to be open, we can always open it, but it's just extra on top. I think there's only a few extra monsters right here. And one more. And we have plenty of time left, so we're just going to come back here and exit. Good job, exit. And we'll upgrade that. Instilling or we need those. We need five to make um, a automated flask. Very cool. That's our first one of those. Nice. All right, let's uh, the third and last um, incursion in this map. And then we'll have two more full sets of um, Alvas in other maps. And then it should be fully... It, if you do them all and open at least one door, you'll always they'll always give you a chance to open every door. There won't be a, a non-way forward. So this one, um, it's just optional. Top left, top right, doesn't really matter. And we want to look at the upgrade. I guess I'll upgrade the Sanctum. I like upgrading things to the next tier. There's multiple tiers of things inside there to do. So, so this is an optional door opening thing, but we want to go over and there's the icon for where the bad guy that we want to upgrade. Now it's upgraded by killing that guy. Or it will be. So you come in, do the little thing in here, and um, open doors, upgrade the, the temple rooms to the way you want, or switch them around. We'll open up this one. And it's right over here. Oh, we got two. We can open up both doors if we sprint. And we'll sprint over to the next one. Pretty good job. And time left. Do we make it out? Ooh, rain of Chaos. Eight of those is worth a Chaos. Cool. I want to clear, uh, clean out a bunch of these before they... Because when you're mixing these, it's not a really good idea um, to mix low-level tier uh, things with higher tier. I think it lowers the item levels. I'm just going to throw a bunch of these in the crafts and not really care about it and just see what we, what we get. So I'm going to pump as much in here as possible. Um, these two I might actually draw out of here though. And how we draw them out is the view the node and then this one will turn into a coffin and that one will turn into a coffin. Cool. And I'll be right back. I'm just going to plant these and they have to be interconnected or touching adjacent. So, um, you know, the first one right at the top, I'm just going to bury them all and we'll see what we get. Uh, explicit. Sure. Why not? Okay. Uh, this is going to be a, a weapon craft. I didn't want to uh, put a bunch of um, elemental things on it. So we're just going to do a weapon craft, a uh, two handed sword. Let's see what we get out of this thing. A tiger sword. Okay, let's uh, exercise it and see what it got. And then we'll make one more item with the rest of the stuff, like a, a ring or something. And let's see what we get out of this. This was like 10 or 12. And we'll pick it up and let's take a look at it. We'll F1 it. And it's probably not going to be that good. Uh, F1, DPS 294. Let's see, DPS 294, elemental resistances. We don't care about those. Cause some bleeding, that's fine. Nah, something like that. Oh, a crit chance, five, that's okay. Let's just search and see what it comes up with. Two chaos. We'll put it up for two chaos and <laughs> one, we'll put it up for one chaos, I guess. And then we're going to bury the rest of these. Let's do that. Um, is there any, what about a price check on that thing? Maybe one chaos and price check on this one? One chaos. So we'll do one chaos on all those. And then we're going to make the second one. Let's do it. We're even, we're even going to do these weird ones. We'll corrupt it. All kinds of stuff. Uh, what is this? Corrupted tier outcomes randomized? Oh, I, I guess. Why not? <laughs> and craft. A, let's do a ring. Jewelry. Ring. Unset. We'll do an amethyst ring. At least I'll have an interesting base with all this weirdness. Let's see what we get out of this. <laughs> it's fun. Something to do, mix things up a bit, and we get the Kraken Band, and it's corrupted, so we can't even add anything to it. That's probably a bad idea. Some max life, some chaos, gain some mana, 13 all. Let's see what this comes out as. Elements, uh, that, 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 and that, and search. Uh, maybe we'll try two chaos out of it, <laughs> and we'll put it right over here. And sell price, two whole chaos for that one. And then the rest of them we'll just put for in the one chaos tab. 
which is right here. We'll just dump those in there. Not bad, just something to do. And I'm even going to use these up. So we'll put some omens on here. Oh boy. Yeah, we know how fun those are. And some frogs on... Why not? I mean, the, it doesn't really matter. I can't use these frogs at, in the later maps. So we're just going to use it up. And here we go. And we found some frogs already. They're jumping away from us, though. I don't like it. Got a scouring orb. I'll take that. And where are the omens? Those are going to be from the... Uh, Affliction-based mobs that are not overpowered, but really chunky and just hard to, hard to beat down. Oh, there's a frog. Something chasing frogs. Oh, we got a coffin. I'll be right back. I don't think I've ever seen this over here. Is this the way? I think that's the way in through the, the back gate. This is kind of weird that it would put it here. Oh, well. I mean, we can't do them right now, though. We don't have the, the thing for it. Very weird. This, I guess this, I never noticed this thing over here. Interesting. And I think we probably could have got two chaos for that last item. But oh well. It's not the pin. No big deal. We'll take that and we'll keep going. These are some chunky affliction guys. But we'll still uh, win the fights. Jesus. They hit hard and yeah, affliction was tough back in the day when this came out. I mean, I think he's getting like charged up. He's mad. Yikes. But we're, we're going to do fine, right? Ugh, there's everything around here. And is he gone? Where'd he go? Don't know. And there's a uh, lab trial. Uh, one of the three that we have to do to open up the second uh, labyrinth and get our second set of ascendancy points. So we should be doing that pretty soon here. Uh, what did we take for this one next? Um, We'll do the... M we didn't do either? Wow, so we have two here. Nearby enter, uh, probably the attack speed we'll do next, but we'll do the 0.3 meters. And there we go. And we'll keep on going. These uh, meat sack all flames are really valuable later as well. Right now, I think a level 51. Yeah, a level 51 because it can't be used in the, the higher tier stuff is not really worth that much. But it's really valuable, or should be, I think, more valuable in the uh, mapping. And here's the next, you know, the next trial. You go through, do all the things, and um, I don't have to do it because I already did it, did it on my other character, but um, otherwise you'll have to do it. And then if you don't get them done, it'll it'll say which map to go do it in, and you just go in there, get it done, get all three of them done, and then we can do the Ascendancy together. We'll be doing that shortly, I hope. I think we're ready to go. I mean, we're 59. I think it was in 55 is when you're allowed to go in. So we're going to be doing that shortly. I love, uh, yeah, it's going to make a, we're going to get a lot more damage and we're going to get culling strike, oddly enough, at 20%, meaning any damage we do to something that's already has only has 20% or less, less health, uh, it automatically dies. It's really nice. And we are in here for this map device right here, which we're going to use on the map. Uh, that's a map and we're going to use it on the map device in the area just to the northwest of here. And we'll turn this in, and we should be in good shape. Now we'll take a look at this, and it should tell us that we have to go to the, the map device, which is right up here. And we're going to pop that map that we just found right into the device. And it's, we just went right from here. We're over here, we went here, and then up there. We'll talk to Silk, and we should be able to just open it up, right? Let's see. Here's the map. Control left click it in, activate it, and this is what... This is similar to what you're going to be doing in the end game. You're going to be doing a lot of maps. Um, pretty cool stuff. Let's go run this one, and we'll be right back. Nice. Where am I? And there's going to be a boss that we're aiming for in here. We can do it. Well, that's a chunky guy. We need more damage. More damage. And a cart. Ooh, we got a chisel. Tons of good stuff. And we're going to jump in here and do this fight. I think this is it. Yep. Here we go. And we're going to wind up. It's ideally, you want to be up to your sixth stage right when the first day, uh, first fight, first the fight starts. Um, then we can just do more damage, but let's see where he is right here. Looks like he was a little bit invulnerable there. Drop the token. And we'll keep going. Looks like some, uh, what do you call it? 
uh, chaos damage. We'll take that. Let's see if Sin gives us any kind of a thing here. Nope, no uh, Pantheon. And then we could just take a portal out and it should bring us right back to Silk. Perfect. And then we get the key and we can go on to the next stage. Nice. And we'll talk to this guy and them and her and red, green, blue. I'll take that one. And we're just going to sell it for a Chrome. I don't even care about IDing it. It's fine. And what I've been doing is I have a quad, stat, uh, quad tab and I just dump all this stuff in here. And then once it's full up, I'll go back and ID it all in one swoop and get there and sell, sell, sell. And it'll be quicker than doing it one set at a time. And I'll tell you how much we get out of that for all of that, for all the, how much we turn it into chaos, basically. Pretty cool. And in this, we can just shift click or control click and it goes right into this affinity tab. Beautiful. All right, we're back at the map device and we gotta find the uh, way down. We have the key now that opens this up and we're gonna go right in here. Can we use some of these? Let's just do it. Greatly increased, oh boy. <laughs> and that guy hinders with spells. Okay, <laughs> we'll give it a shot here. And let's see what we turn those things into. Not bad so far. And we'll keep going. Ah, come on. Let's see anything? I want to find one of those. Oh, is that the one we have greatly empowered? I think so. it feels like it. Ooh, and affliction. Those affliction things I do not like. Look at that damage. That is powerful. This is ridiculous. Be really careful with those ones that grant omens because this is right back to the last league of just really super powered creatures. It would be scary to do this in a hardcore. I mean, I don't want to die, but geez, that's just powerful stuff. And there's another um, labyrinth to do down here. So at this point, you should have done all three if you've been following along. And we should be able to do the uh, labyrinth together next. Nice. And there's a hideout over here. We've already found it, the bale. So you want to go in there and clear out the that entire hideout of monsters. And then it'll be added to your list of hideouts. And then you can talk to Helena and change your hideout to a new layout and redecorate it just like you want. It's cool. A lot of people like doing that too. Uh, here's one of those meat sacks. And nothing dropped. And here's the quest goal spot thing. Let's see. Oh, look at this guy. Another meat sack? Yeesh. They're tough. They get all pumped up. And there's no item over here. There might be a, 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 a craft over there for you. And we're just going to jump through. Secret passage into the den. Here we go. And we're on the right trail, so we're gonna keep going. We'll use our, we have two um, blasts that we use ourselves still, but the uh, other one is automated, so it pumps us up and sprints us along. Caustic ground, that shouldn't be bad. We'll take that and that, those are small, easy to carry. Just gotta watch out for that caustic ground. It can, it does uh, chaos poison damage stuff, and it's pretty, pretty uh, potent. And we'll knock this guy out. Nice. And we've popped out on the side, and we're just continuing along. Easy stuff. Nice. Here's a little test. Um, it's a uh, pantheon fight right here. We'll see how fast the boss goes down on this. He's not here yet. He's about to drop in in about two seconds. Three, two, one, there he is. And he is done. I've killed him faster on different builds. I've killed him faster on a um, Summon Raging Spirit build. Um, that was about the fastest, it was pretty amazing. But that wasn't bad, nothing wrong with that. And let's see what Pantheon he opens up for us. It should be like barely blinking. Which one's blinking? I don't see any of them blinking. Is it that one? <laughs> this is just the bad UI. <laughs> oh boy. Well, this is the one I want, so that's fine. Except I still don't understand that upgrade effects into the quest and end of hunger. Did I just miss a quest? I think I must have. Back, um, like somewhere back here. Um, I think I, is that it? 
No, that's the Lost Expedition. So it feels like I, I missed a, a quest somewhere along the lines. And I'll figure it out. But, uh, pretty cool. Alright, let's turn, uh, turn this quest in. Uh, this quest. Are they gonna give us any... <laughs> I haven't seen a skill point for a while here. There we go. And anybody else? Maybe Helena? Ooh. Oh, Groost. Okay, we'll do that. We'll take this. And then we gotta figure out how to spend these points. We'll do that right now. We're gonna do a couple of things. Um, we're gonna get a little bit bigger on the uh, AoE range. And then we're gonna go right down here and get rid of the corrupted blood issue. So now we can't be stunned and we have those other seven immunities from uh, purity of elements. Uh, can't be ignited, frozen, chilled, all that stuff. But then this one right here in the middle, um, this has how we get rid of the uh, the corrupted blood that's coming. So bleed and corrupted blood, two different things. And that's how we're going to get rid of it. Also, plus five to elemental resistance is not, not bad. And then we're going to up our resistance from 75 to 76 here. And then all our resistances are going to go up to a minimum, uh, the maximum of 77 instead of the 75, which is normal. And then we'll take that. And that, we're, that way we'll be a little more... Um, uh, tanky too. So that's what I noticed. Our damage is fine. Um, it can go up and we can we can address that, but this is how we'll address the corrupted blood issue. So ideally, I want to try to make as many things as possible not matter at all. We could do, oh, we could also get a jewel, but that costs a little bit of money, a lot of money sometimes, to get a corrupted blood can't be inflicted on you type jewel, but that would save us one point, so it's worth it, and that's why that jewel is expensive. Cool. This next uh, bit of content that we're going to show you is called um, an abyss. And you'll see that little teeny green dot and it it activates and then it does a pathway and then you got to fight and then it does it again and again and again. And then you get good stuff out of it or a spiral come out and, and then sometimes you get to go down to the bottom. There's a lot to this and there's people that just uh, shoot for this and have a great time. Um, oh, we are restarting to the realm to deploy an update. This patch notes, oh, in about 10 minutes. Okay, I'll be ready for that. Let's do this real quick, and we'll see how much we can get done in 10 minutes. And away we go. So I'm following the green dot. Then it stops and pauses, and a lot of stuff comes out. And then it goes on again. I'll try to grab as much stuff as we can. We'll grab the belt and those, and we'll chase it off. Where is it going? And... Here it is again. I'll drop a totem right here and I'll fight it some more. And these fights can get pretty serious too. And then they drop other things that are around there. Oh, that was only a tour, so it only stopped twice. And then it's going to have a special jewel. It's always going to have one of these kind of weird jewels um, that can actually, they can fit into belts that are um, uh, Stygian Vice type belts and other things. And we got a ring. That's interesting. We'll take that small item. We'll leave this stuff and we'll keep going. And we'll take that. That's for a chromatic orb. And let's go back in here. Um, oh, and there's this. It's right here. We might as well do this. We'll open up this. But this is where there's a quest item right here. Right up here. That that item drops here. And then we do this fight. And now we've done that quest as well. Cool. I don't know how much we're going to get done before that uh, 10 minute timer comes up. And we need more space. Because we're going to go in this uh, little side area. And... We'll take that. And we're going to go in this little side area and get a bunch of stuff. Um, seven fireflies off the ground. So I'll be right back. And here's the reward for that quest. I guess we'll take that. It could replace this. Let's go, let's find out. And we'll ID it and just look at it. And it's plus one to attributes compared to what we have. I hold control. No. But that's okay. Well, let's just so I don't look at it again. We're going to dump this stuff off. And I'll be right back. And that thing that I just sold for 19, I'm not taking those, that, that item was from my other guy, so I'm not taking that as part of this character, the 19 Chaos. All right, so we got this item, and I'm just looking at it, some attack damage. We can see if it's uh, any good just by going like something like that and seeing if anybody would want it. Probably, let's just search those two. Maybe one or two Chaos. We'll throw it in the one Chaos thing and see what happens. And what about this ring? The lantern. Maybe one chaos. We'll throw it in there. And I don't want to use it, I don't think. 
I don't even want to read it. <laughs> um, enemies hit with unlucky blah blah blah. Yeah, we'll keep going. We're just going to try to get these seven um, things before the reset. Seven fireflies. Come on. Let's see if we can get them all. Two. The firefly race is on. And, oh, there's one over there. I'll be right back. Three. Whoa. <laughs> End up dying, picking up stuff off the ground. Four. Five. And there's a fight in here that we have to do is six. The fight is usually on the bottom left. Let's see if it is. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, there's the seventh firefly. Good. And where's the other fight? It's usually bottom left. Nope, not this time. And let's find the, we're going to try to find the fight and ideally get to the next zone so they don't have to go through this out zone again. So we're flying. There it is. Oh, jump in here. Den of Despair. Easy. They wouldn't let me in. I was clicking them. Jeez. Yeah, I was clicking this, but it was clicking on them. We'll ID this up. And here we go. Here's the fight. I want to get as close to him so he doesn't charge, hopefully. Fire it up. And let's see if we can get him before he charges. Oh, that was close. Oh, I did die. <laughs> I was going. It was close. And I'd seen that. No worries. I, I, I shouldn't have like tried to face tank him, but oh well. I knew he's, <laughs> I knew he's coming for us. Cool, and I'll be going back out, and we'll try to get to the next spot. Let's see if there's a way through here. Oh, we got to reset all those. Not that one. And there. Darn it. I was like, oh, that was close. No, that was a death. <laughs> but no big deal. Later, when you're, I think it's like 62 or 60-ish, or somewhere around there, you'll get um, a 10% EXP penalty, and it starts to add up. But, oh well. I'll take the portals. Oh, and a bunch of infected stuff. We'll take these. I probably shouldn't be picking these up, because I can take one chaos and get 90 wisdom scrolls, so picking up three is just not very good. I think there's a waypoint soon in here or it might be pretty far let's find out there it is nice I'm, now i'm happy we can just do the uh let them do the restart and i'll go read about the notes as well we might be able to get all the way through the to the other side of it this is so, so smooth and easy though i think i want more help because that was a wake-up call yeah we're at seven we should be over about two thousand health right now so i'm kind of pushing it uh <laughs> kind of pushing it but we can get some. Oh, a smuggler's thing. Nice. And maybe there's there's some kind of hot fix for an uh, important thing. Usually it's, if they do a full server reset, it's probably fairly important. We'll see. And what about this guy? We'll take that. Nice. And I'd like to get to the next waypoint so we don't have to go through that even again. And it should be right up here to the left. Oh, we got it. This is the little maze area thing. All right, let's see if we can sprint it. Sometimes it's really easy to find the way up, but it's blocked. It's in the center, but it's kind of like blocked by everything. And come on. Oh, I should have took a left there. Right through here. And is there a way up? Come on. Nope. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to make as like a right turn right now into that area. There's only going to be like a very limited number of loads. I'm looking at it, looking at it. Nope, nope, nope. And yes. And it should be over there. There we go. We're starting to see the stuff. There's Yina. And we touch her. She uses the fireflies to burn that down. We got the thing and we go back to town and let's go back to our hideout. Nice. All right, so it, while this downtime happens, I'm going to actually empty out this whole thing. Oh, the star thing. we got to take care of that as well. And I'll tell you how much uh, we get out of this. So that'll be something cool to do. Um, you don't have to do it. Uh, I get to. <laughs> All right, so the gear that we got, the stuff, we got four, four of these. Um, these might sell up for a chaos each, maybe less. We'll call it two chaos 
And then we got all this. Um, that's 20, that's 40. We're looking at where well, 60 was 20, so we got 40. Uh, maybe 15 chaos total. We'll call it 12 to 15 chaos for that whole that that whole quad tab worth of stuff once we sell it in bulk. Oh, there's an update coming now and downtime it's restarting now. Let's see. But the cool. And we're we're gonna sell 120 of these for 40 chaos. That'll be cool. Nice. Or maybe even some more. But a, basically three for one chaos because we sell in bulk. Alright, I'll be back after the uh downtime. I don't think I ever noticed, but this this book actually gives you a, a sk passive skill point and two respect points. Interesting. I just never noticed. Cool. And we're going to go a little more defensive right here. Instead of cold, we're going to go lightning. And cold could work either uh, well as well. But then that one. That one, Was that ever minus? No, it was, it was plus two always. And then the next point we'll spend right there to get rid of Corrupted Blood, and we'll probably spend uh, the more maximum physical damage there next. Cool. And the way forward is right through here. And nice. We got about, what was that, 12? A solid 12 to 14, maybe 15 chaos worth of loot out of just dumping that in the quad tab. And... And then IDing it up, and it took me about uh, two minutes, minute and a half, to ID and sell, just quick, quick, quick like that. And then dumping it in there cost took a little bit of time, but not much. Pretty cool. I like that. And faster than having to to do the chaos recipe and pay attention to everything, it's just dump and sell. Pretty cool. And if we look at our defenses now, see how it's uh, 77, 77, and then 78. So we've raised our maximum resistance cap from 75 to 77, 77, and 78. Not bad. Uh, which is actually pretty significant because that's like a um, every point from 75 to 100 is uh, that's a 5% gain. And then let's say you're at a, at 80 and you get a one more point. Well, that's uh, 20, 120th so that's five percent um and then let's say you're at 90 and somehow can get it up to 91 well that's 10 percent of the damage so as you approach 100 it's, it's every point as you approach 100 um is that much more significant uh that mo that, that much more impactful to the the final actual damage value it's weird how the the math on that works out but it's it's it makes sense and what i suspect is defenses wise yeah this is this is our problem our armor is down to 1,000, and as you level up, it takes more and more armor to actually uh, get the same benefit. So our armor is way too low. That's why we took that hit, and we're able to be crushed. Pretty cool, though. Makes sense. I knew something was up, and we'll be able to address that soon, but there's no rush at all. A couple interesting drops here. This one's worth 17 chromatics, and it's just a one card. You get it, and you can trade it in. We'll do that in our in our hideout in a moment, but um, you just trade it in it in with uh, and right there, trade it in. You get seventeen of them. Pretty cool. And I'll knock out these Alvas. Let's take take a look at it. Here's the board. Looks like the left. Easy. Oh, I just got back to the screen. It's so unfortunate when you know you're just trying to read the thing and it it's frustrating. I wish they would uh, certain other mechanics stop the things around you. Um, I think the, there should be a lot more of them that do that because we're just it's just frustrating because you're just trying to read it. You come off of there and then you're getting attacked and knocked around by those guys oh well a lot of it's my fault for uh you know my armor's low my defenses aren't that great right now we're kind of been doing a lot of damage instead but still it's just frustrating when you have to read something and stop in the middle of a fight but you, nothing's on the screen and then it wanders off it's just frustrating it should stop the stop the action while we're doing that all right, so we do have a solution. We can get more armor stuff and 
do that stuff. But there's a few different ways we can do it. Um, let's see. Right in here, there's some armor up that way. There's... Um, is it down here with some armor? Yep, through here. So we're gonna we're gonna work our way over there, but <laughs> I just want to get this other one right there. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Cool. Let's go do this fight. Now this one normally I'd be able to tank it, but now I'm a little concerned because I only have one thousand armor. Um, oh, actually no, this isn't the one where it slams you. The overhead slam. This is a uh, chaos damage issue, so it's, armor's not going to be the big issue here. And uh, a lot of damage. We should be able to just tank this. Famous last words. <laughs> oh, let's turn that back on and that back on. And away we go. Let's see. Uh, we'll drop a totem. Pretty easy fight here. Goes in stages. I think she tries to eat the guy up there. Silk. And let's see. But oh, we have so much damage. Come on, let me. Wow. Didn't even. I don't even remember. I don't think she went up there, did she? Maybe. And we'll take that and that. And we're just taking the smaller items for right now because we're trying to move along. <laughs> and uh, I guess that. And do we get a, Oh, we get another thing. So this, we're immune to stun, so that's useless. So whatever this is, is it better? A little bit. We still have that one. Cool. And let's keep going. Oh, Athena. And... Ramparts, cool. Let's go in there and knock out the next uh, stage. And what was this? Was there an actual reward from this? I don't think so. Nah. Let's go get those chromatics. We're gonna go to our hideout and Lily Roth. The trade div divination cards. Seventeen of them. I'll take it. Nice. Got a decent amount. In case we have to roll things and reset some colors. We're in Act 8 now, and we're going to get up to the city. Very cool. And this one, you just run around the edge, climb up on the wall, and then go to the next part. Oh, and it looks like a, we'll turn it into a delirium by sitting here. And away we go. And I think if you actually turn the mirror towards you, you can actually see a reflection of yourself in there. I'll have to check it again, but it was kind of neat. If you zoom in, you can actually see it on there. I just never really pay attention to it. And let's see what we can get out of this place. Oh, looks like we're getting a jewelry reward so far on the bottom left. And let's see if we can pump it up and see what else we can get. Ooh, we're going to have an abyss with a delirium. Let's chase the green dot and see what we can get out of this. And that, uh, what do you call it? The, uh... The fog is going to continue to drift away from us, but that's okay. No big deal. Oh, we got a currency reward. Let's see if we can get that one up to the next level as well. We should because this is like a um, combination. Uh, let's just grab whatever we can here. We'll even use a healing potion real quick. Looks like it's full. And Oh, did the, was that it? Yeah, that was it. And we'll take that, that, and that using our healing potions because I'm taking some damage there and we're gonna go we're gonna work towards some more life and armor that'll be on our I think that's pretty much our goal right now we can do that I mean just the just the armor that I'm wearing alone is pretty bad uh, but we can improve it come on let's get up there we get up to the next rank now the fog's probably going the other way um, so I don't think it's going to last much longer. In maps, you can actually improve it into the point where you can get it, you know, to be way more relaxing and not rushed. And we'll keep going. Almost a three. It would be nice if I could almost get it to three. going to be close. I don't think we're going to get it, though. It's going to be close. Come on. I'll have to take that. Maybe. Oh, easy. Got to heal up a little bit. There's some over here. Come on. Oh, we got the third. So we got the third reward. Now it doesn't matter. So I know we're not going to get the next one. And do we have some space? We do. We can just move that over there. 
pick that up. We'll level all these. And it... I don't know why the... There it is. This thing's finally triggering. And we'll even move this up here. And it'll all start dropping. A couple alchemies. A Viridian Jewel. A Cluster Jewel. That. A whole bunch of stuff. Holy cow. Um, we're pretty full. We'll go back to town and come right back. Actually, let's take a peek at some of this stuff at least. This one. Um, spell, 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 dual wielding. Mm, let's see if, if this triggers anything really cool as far as a search goes. No. Um, I don't even know how this would to search smartly for this. I don't know. We'll try to sell it for 5 chaos. And then this one. Uh, I'm going to say no to that one. And what about this one? Nope. And I don't think it's a good base either. Cool. And here's the Sarn Encampment, which starts Act 8. And we've really got to get in and do the uh, the, the uh, Labyrinth now. So let's go do that. Okay, we're going to try to improve our armor here. It looks like only 5 chaos. And let's sit, show you how I did this. We went to a new one, cleared it out, gone in to search the items, drop down list to go to body armor. Then we said, hey, give me at least 677 armor. Six sockets, just like that. Four of them red, two of them green. And then I went down here and I said, the most I want to spend is 12 chaos. We did search. We got this guy to come up. Five chaos. I'd be happy with this. The evasion doesn't have, help us. The life does. Some regen is cool. The cold is all right. This is just a temporary item. And let's go see what we can do with it. And we messaged him. I think that was only posted an hour ago. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll see how much. Put that one over there. And we can always do this as well to find out where he is. Whisper and slash who is space there. And he's in Plaza. I think Plaza is a map. Yeah, that's not a, uh, it might be a hideout name. That's a little close. I'm not really super positive. Let's uh, whisper and see if unless he's busy. Trade after, after map is done. We'll see. And we'll be right back. I think he was just AFK and we'll see. Otherwise, we're gonna, we'll spend 10 on the next one. The next one is actually probably worth it just to buy it. He doesn't want to do it. Uh, I guess maybe, maybe not. Weird. We'll message the next guy. He asked, what's up? <laughs> I want to trade the thing you have for sale. <laughs> oh, well, oh, there we got one. And let's see what we get. 10 chaos. It's a six link. It's not corrupted. So we can actually, and I think we might be able to craft on it. I'll have to take a look. It's not bad, and it's, I think, 1,200 um, armor. And there we go. Accept. Thank you, and done deal. Third person we whispered. And let's go take a look at this item. All right, so we're going to end up moving this stuff over here and this stuff over here. So, uh, can we craft on this? Oh, we can't even use it. No, I need one more level. Oh, we're almost there. I didn't check the level. I just assumed we could use it. Oh, well, we can get there very quickly, fortunately. Whoops. <laughs> don't miss that part. And then we can add something to it. Now, I can't add all these because we don't have... You wouldn't have these technically unlocked, but I could add armor to it. Um, oh, it's already crafted on there. 43% armor. That's probably fine. Uh, yep, it's already crafted. All right, so let's just go grab another level and we'll be right back. That was easy. And now we want, we actually, I, I want these two sets. This one right through here and this one right through, through here most likely. So we're going to work our way over there. Uh, a little more attack speed, more damage. So we're going to go right down here and grab these. And this is a nice set. 6%, 10%, and another 16 So 22% health. And we could even mess around in here and maybe get some more life that way as well. Cool. And now we can wear this and we have to figure out how to 
<laughs> transfer these things and you know balance it out again and because it's a six link um we are actually gonna be able to um add i think pulverize back into the mix that's gonna be nice so all we're gonna do is we're gonna say it's gonna go cyclone and then the faster attacks we'll do the pulverize last doesn't really matter melee fizz brutality and fortify it shouldn't matter the order in this case at all. Uh, we'll put that one there. Pulverize. Fortify. And that. Maybe it matters. I don't... It shouldn't, though. And then we're going to put that on. And it shows up that it's all linked up. There's one, two, three, four, five support, supporting gems. And if you hover over it, it, they all light up as well. So they all support it. Now we've got to get this taken care of. This needs two greens, two reds, and a blue. Should be capable of doing that because it's only a strength dex item, and it should be able to. It shouldn't be that hard to roll this. Let's find out. <laughs> Famous last words. Three. So we need two reds, two greens, and a blue. So we just need one blue on here. Close. Close. Nope. No. <laughs> All greens. Nope. Just one blue. We just gotta look for one blue. We're getting a bunch of blues. We could use the crafting bit. Two blues, that's odd to pull that off, but okay. One blue. This is why you need a lot of chromes sometimes. Looks good. Here we go. Just like that. Just like that. 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 And that. Perfect. Now we're back up and running. That's on. We are in good shape now. Our cost is now six on our ma on this, so it's a little more costly. But we're still getting the um. It, as long as we're hitting stuff, it doesn't matter at all because we get thirty mana back per hit. It's just that we can run out of mana if we just sit here and spin and spin and spin. Okay, so next up we're going to be doing the. Oh, how much did we pay for this? I don't remember. I think we paid 16 for that. We could have got away with a lot cheaper. As you can see, we're not using any of these other, these other sockets yet. We should be like um, maybe doing how uh, we can't do a mortal call because that shares a guard skill with um, that one. But we're going to be doing a lot more damage now that pulverizes in the mix as well. Oh, boy. Um, we'll sell this. I don't know for five, five chaos. Uh, four chaos. We'll try to move it. Might not even be worth that. I think we got it for like one or two chaos. Wasn't much. All right. Let's go to, I think it's, what is it? Act three? Uh, Sarn encampment? It might be, we might actually get it in this Sarn encampment as well. Let's see. Act eight, the Sarn encampment in this version. It should be there. Let's see. Or we could just use the portal. But you're going to come up here and check. And it looks like those three are ready. Or we could just portal right to the Aspirants Plaza and we are ready to go and if you're not just look in Act 6 for the lower prison and go there and complete the trial Act 7 the crypt and Act 7 the, the chamber of sins and then you'll be able to do it Then just click that activate it and we're ready to go don't click the first one you know the the the, the second one <laughs> for the level 55 one and here we go now this is going to be longer than the first um, labyrinth that we ran. And if we die, we get sent back to the, the beginning. <laughs> but this is just ridiculous. Oh my gosh. The damage, is, the damage is going to be a lot. We shouldn't be opening these things in here because it's kind of risky. But oh, I just accidentally did it because of habit. And in general, you want to be sort of targeting the top right. So I, I'm thinking this will open up. And there should be a way through over here. It's random, but it's pseudo-random. If you run a bunch of these, you'll start to notice slight patterns. Oh, well, this is an easy one, right to the first aspirant. Very cool. There's going to be a crafting recipe right here, and you want to make sure uh, you want to make sure to bring or at least have access to um, a skill gem. We happen to be uh, leveling one up because we're going to try to transfigure it into something valuable. We might get lucky. Let's do this fight. And if we die, we just go right back to the start. There's no cost to enter here yet. 
Here we go. Let's take the map off. We'll put this on. Everything's set and ready. I think we're in good shape. We'll fire this up right now and start getting our ranks up. And here we go. I know we can actually... Wow, that was just a total annihilation. We just insta-gipped them down to... <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, we're doing a lot of damage here, guys. We're a little squishy, but uh, we're going to fix that. Gee, that's just amazing. Very cool. And I'm trying to avoid the um, puzzles and things like that. I, I want to just get to the end. I don't want to do puzzles and get extra rewards because it's more important for me to just get to the end. Are you kidding me? So all you have to do is go to that off to the right for the first one and then shoot this will be this way the whole day but it changes every day too then and we're already to the second stage this is really fast this is real this is it's usually longer than this this is nice i don't even mind if i die here it's like boop, boop, right back let's see how long the third path is though we'll drop that down get our speed up and and it should be done Nice. Wow. I never. I don't. I don't know if I found uh, the second lab like this with a a tour where you just one you know one room you're in second room you're in. Very rare. Let's see. They're gonna throw a curveball at us. I know. Don't want to do the puzzles. I don't like it when I see start seeing stuff like this. I'm like no. No puzzles. And see how far they're going to make us go around and around. And that doesn't matter. We should be able to just keep walking from here. And I'll take that. No, this wouldn't be a th <laughs> three in a row, but pretty close. If we can go here and without any um, blockades, that'll be nice. Let's see if that's the case. No like locked door. Otherwise, that's just a... What do you call it? A four section. Um, it looks like some traps or something. Yeah, it looks like we have to figure something out this way. I could go back the other way and try that one and see if it's better. Let's say we don't go this way and we go over here or over here. There should be another way forward. Yeah, come on. Easy. And you want to have two healing potions on us. Just in case. There should be another door over here somewhere. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. Come on. Up here. Nice. And instead, we'll try this way and not have to deal with that. Let's see if that's the case, though. Now, there should technically be a way to go to the, you know, to the right, the bottom right there. Take that and we'll find out. If this is the nice, if this is the way, it's going to be ridiculously short. Are you kidding me? Come on, be the one. Nice. This is the easiest second set of lab things I've ever seen. This was really easy. Watch, all of a sudden, splat, I die. <laughs> but even if I do, I don't mind right here. All right, here we go. And done. We'll take all those guys. That is really easy, guys. Wow. And we'll take the treasure key. We'll take as much of this. We'll take a treasure key, a treasure key, that. There we go. We'll just take whatever here. That's fine. And we're going to toss this stuff in here. And then we're going to do our next thing, which is really cool. We'll put all this in here. Nice, and even that. We'll open up the three chests. We have three worth this time. You might get another key as well. Sometimes you get a key and then another, ooh, another key and another key, and it, it can it, it can be fun. Colossal? No, we don't want that one. Ooh, eight scraps, I'll take that. And we'll just dump all this stuff right back in over here. Easy stuff. Oh, we'll identify, what was that? There was three of them. Let's identify these three. Bright Break, that's not very expensive. 
A Fen Coil, I don't think that's expensive either. And Sundance Boot, nah. In fact, I'll probably just vendor those. And not even worry about it. And then this, we can put in here as well. Nice. Now, on our second, we were leveling up a Cyclone. This one. So we're going to transfigure this. And let's see what happens. You put it here. You could also add quality if you want to go that route. But we're going to transfigure it and hope for something good. Um, you can't do like a F1 lookup on this because it's not technically sitting here yet. Um, but if any of these pop out and I think about them. Scourge Arrow of Menace. Don't know about that one. Uh, that one I don't think is very good. Shattering Steel of anim Ammunition? Maybe. Let's try that one. It could be this one, though. My gut says that one, but I'm taking this one. And let's do a price check. One Chaos. That was a fail. You could look at each of these up, and then, you, then you'd say, Oh, that one's worth 40 Chaos. But, nah. And, in fact, I don't even mind. I'm just going to throw it in my gem tab. Next up, um... The three things we do the divine fout font um i think you get two chances at the um at the uber the uh, fourth lab that you do but the other ones you only get one and then we're gonna ascend but we already had the two points to spend and let's exp here right here we have two more points ascendancy points to spend um where does it say that though hmm it usually says it up there somewhere but no um like wait why didn't we got the extend one second did i click the wrong one this is tier 30 oh my gosh guys no wonder it was so simple i did click the wrong one at the very beginning of it that's why we can't ascend i was like this is the easiest thing ever i didn't notice until then oh well let's keep going i even warned i warned everybody i said don't click the wrong one i must have it must have I don't know. I'll look at exactly how it happened. But I was looking at this and I was saying, do this, this, and this. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it was like this. And I said, that's why. And then, no, that's not why. I don't know what happened there. I'll have to look at the video. I'll leave it in. That was my mistake. <laughs> don't do what I did. Click that one. I even said, click it. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go have fun. Why did that get set like that? That should be movement. Oh, it's on my second... I know why it got set. Ooh, and now I need a uh, support gem. I think I have one in my locker. Um, in my stash tab. That's fine. Nice. I would have ended up dying there on accident and getting frustrated, but nope. So now we're in the correct thing, and I was wondering, like, this is the easiest one ever. All right, let's do it the right way. So again, I'll just go off to the right, and we'll go find the way, way forward. I'll be right back. And here it is. Oh, and it's an easy one again. I'll take it. It can't be as easy as that last one, though. Let's see how tough this guy is now. I was wondering, I was like, wow, we just totally destroyed him. Yeah, he was the level 33 uh, example of him. Now, oh, there we go. Ooh, he almost got us there. Still pretty easy. Not as easy, but just a fraction uh, more difficult. He got a shot off that time. Cool. And we'll keep going. This one goes up, so I'm going to keep looking for the next pay next play. And it should be right over here. Nice. Ooh. Wrong turn. Right in here. And now, it instead of, you know, instead of going, uh, you know, that way, we're going... We're here, and now we can, you know, it, it's better. <laughs> it's the right way. Shorter way. Okay, I'll take that, and that, and that. And let's go find the next way forward. And here it is. And I got a few things here we'll just throw in here. And we'll just do this. And we'll look at that, I guess. There's no way it's worth anything, right? Realm Shaper? Nah. We'll end up vendoring that. And gem wise, I gotta have that ready. We're just gonna take one out of here. Repost is a skill. That should be a skill. Let's see. Any other skill gems? Splitting steep, not that one. Spectral throw, that counts as a, a skill gem. And let's go fight him. 
we're almost to the point. We're not. We don't need it quite yet, but I didn't want to go buy another one and come back here. So we'll just use that one. And let's see how well we do. Yeah, that's a little tougher now. He's actually. He's actually like not taking much damage there for a second. A little weird. I think he had some kind of a defensive thing that we should have. There's ways you can actually debuff them and make things a lot easier if you do the the puzzles and stuff like that. There's ways to make it um, easier by far. But um, usually I just want to brute force it down and just get in there and win. Oh, is this the way forward? Come on, be really crazy lucky. It's no way. Uh, I don't want to go this way, so we'll keep looking. This is the way forward. And... Well, one more place and we're at and we'll be in there. Is this gonna be it? It might be. Let's find out. I don't think so. Let's see. Nope. It's the wrong way. It wants us to go down there, so we'll keep looking. It should be right over here though. Should be barely close by. Let's find out. Together. And yep. And, oh, but they tricked us. Down here. Spin around. Come over here. And it should say Aspirin's Plaza. Beautiful. And plenty of space. Let's just jump in. We'll level that up. All right. I got to be a little careful here because we're squishy-ish. And there's all these other traps. And they can teleport you now. This is the actual fight now. And we'll come up here. And done. Nice. And then you get a chance to teleport us. Three treasure keys, nice. We'll take that and that and that, and that, and we'll just take some of these things. Cool. Oh, we'll take the scraps too, and let's just dump those over here. We'll do the same three things again, just like this, and three of these. One, two, three. We'll take that, that, and that. Those. Anything else? Nah. And no extra keys. Let's transfigure the gem. We'll throw that in there. Now we have more uh, abilities. We can sacrifice for excellent currency. I don't do that one very often. Random of the same color. Here we go. And dual strike. Burial blades. Bladefall of impaling. Um, Maybe this one? I don't know. And we could look them up. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> There might have been one worth 40 chaos there. I don't know. Let's see what this one's worth. It's a surprise. Nothing. <laughs> so we're going to go like this. Put these all away. And now we'll ascend. But if you want to do it, you know, it, it would be worth it looking it up manually on the trade site. You know, when you're with your choices. Because 40 chaos is a lot. It's nice. You can get, even get more sometimes. Especially early on when nobody has their transfigured gems. You can get a a lot for it here we go moment of truth ascendancy now we have points to spend i was like where is it up here so um earlier i was debating you know should we, should i get this and this and it would be a bigger aoe a, a quite a bit bigger and deal more damage i liked all that based on proximity but i really 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 wanted to get this culling strike and it's basically a call where um, you kill enemies that have 20% or lower life just by just one point of damage if they're less than 20% will kill them and it works on bosses it's really nice and then attack speeds if we hit a if we kill a rare we get a 20% or we get a 10% attack speed bonus and if we um, kill any enemy we get a 10% movement speed bonus nice and then we also get this attack and damage. So let's turn this off so we get a, a baseline. We're at 15635. This and this won't change our damage because it, you know it's conditional. But this one will. And then now we have a culling strike. Nice. And then we'll get this one next. And then we'll get this one for more damage at the end. So we'll go with that. And there's other ways you could do it, but I like this way. 
16,000 on a base. Let's see if we turn this back on, put that down and spin. What do we get up to? 30, 34, 38, 42, 53,000. And we'll be able to sustain that. Everything will be nice. Woo, we're going to be doing a lot of damage. Woo, a lot, a lot of damage. Let's go. Let's go right back over here and just see the difference real quick. And... Oof. And... Bum, 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 pow. Oh, here's a supposed, supposedly tough thing. Uh, let's find that the red beast. There's a yellow. Done. And then, they, then he captures them. Let's find... I'll take three scrolls. I'll take another one. Let's find the other yellow beast. Uh, there should be one more yellow and then the red. The red will be our big challenge. Not really, but I mean a challenge, something. And... Let's see if it's going to pop up on the map anywhere. Take the chisels. Those, uh, a chisel will improve a regular, if it's a white quality map, a white normal map, it'll it'll add five quality to it, up to 20. Oh, there's a, is that the red guy? No, that's the yellow guy. Here's the red guy. Let's see what we get out of this. Here's the red one, right up there to the left a little bit. He's chunky still, and a lot of chaos damage around us. A lot of stuff. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. And let's pick it up and keep going. And uh, not keep going, but um, come on, let's take care of those guys. Oh, contract, we'll take it. We'll take that and that. You can see how things are getting uh, crazier and more fun and... This is a lot. That's cool. And we'll take those too. We'll improve all these. And let's go do that. Um, let's go do that um, menagerie thing. We just did that accidentally. So we'll, we'll see what they give us. And that was a level like 55, 56 zone. We'll drop this off. And I'll sell all this between the, uh, between the episodes. So you don't guys don't have to watch that, all that stuff. Um, corrupted, interesting. Overwhelm. Are there two things on there? A prefix and a suffix? Let's see what we get here. This plus damaging elements, probably not so good. This probably isn't a good, but we'll search and see what happens. Nothing. Let's take that one off and see what happens. If you have just those two, ugh, just that one. I don't know. We'll throw it up for five chaos and see what happens. That's unfortunate. It just didn't. It's corrupted. And it's cool that it got corrupted, but yeah, exact price, 11 chaos. We'll just see what happens. And we'll throw the rest in here. What is this a corrupted one too? What happened there? Oh, it didn't, it, it got corrupted, but it didn't get a corruption an implicit there. This one's not good. Um, what are these all? Did it, a bunch of corrupted things drop? I'll deal with those later then. Interesting though. Yeah, a bunch of corrupted stuff dropped. And now let's go do the menagerie. We haven't done one of those in a little bit. Oh, I didn't want to go to my hideout. Habit. And there we go. Let's go find the fight. Now there's stuff from my other character in there as well in the menagerie that I haven't messed with yet. But not a 74, a 53. I think that's the one. Oh, I got a 50, a 51 and a 53. So we get a flask and a helmet. And what else? A 61. We'll do the... Um, We'll do this one for a helmet. Craft and oh, easy. Drop the totem and spin it around. Look at the look at the size of that AOE, and we're it's gonna be even bigger. And there's the helmet, a zealot helmet. Interesting. And what's that worth? Three chaos. We'll sell it. Help and then hold Alt to check the rolls. The rolls are middle of the road so we'll sell it for three chaos and then the other one we were going to do is the flask and it's a 53 and let's knock that out we'll drop a totem get even more damage down and where's the other guy that is too easy nice and what kind of flask do we get oh the sulfur flask the chalice overflowing chalice and that's worth like a chaos not bad We'll sell both those, and that pretty much, I think, wraps it up. Let's do toss that in the one chaos thing. This will sell for three. 
let's sell it for two just to get rid of it and have some fun. We'll be the cheapest one on the market. And then I think we're in good shape. The next episode, we'll just keep on cruising through here. We're in Act uh, 8 now. We'll knock that out. And everything's going smoothly. Uh, what we're going to be looking at next is working our way right down in here to get more life, more life. Probably a little of this for some more armor. Um, armor and this will be a little later. Life right here. We can also get life. Um, we could go up this way and grab one of these jewel sockets and get a big life. Uh, all kinds of life through here. And we also have access to more um, elemental stuff right there. We probably won't go over here and grab that. I know we don't need it eventually. And then if I do need... Um, there's 20 worth of elemental resistances right there as well. That we can grab and then back out of. But the, this way, I know we need to go down here because we're going to go down here, over here. We're going to go down here and get an extra frenzy charge. As long as we can start generating frenzy charges, it's a little bit of a concern. Um, there's different ways to do it, but we'll see. If I can't go down there and if I can't figure out how to uh, get the frenzy charges on this character with his setup, then we don't need to and we'll get something else. But there's plenty to do. Sounds good and have a good one. Enjoy and I'll see you next episode. We're getting strong. We're getting stronger and stronger and stronger every. We're looking pretty scary, even. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy. Pretty cool.